Matthew 26 says, Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. This is one of my favorite pictures. I am sure this little boy's parents said, don't you dare step a foot outside. And he doesn't. He stays just inside the line. At least his toes do. And I think sometimes when God says don't do something, we have a tendency to leave our toes inside and to fall across and go out into places that probably weren't God's intention for us. I remember one time I had a daughter, and she would be perfectly okay with me sharing this story, who would push every boundary. And we went to the river, and she put her toe across a line I told her not to, and she went down the raging river, and a fisherman downrange had run up to her and I ran and I grabbed her by her heel and I pulled her back and she was so angry with me because I pulled her by her heels and she didn't like that. But she didn't realize how close she was to death. See, I had told her, don't put your feet over this line. But she wanted to put her toe just a little bit further and ended up in a whirlpool and almost carried away and drowned. Sometimes we have to remember that when we are looking, when it says watch and pray that you, so that you won't fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We want to keep our toes just inside the line, but not necessarily the rest of us. But God sees our heart. He's not so worried about our toes as he is our heart. So my question is, which side of the sliding glass door is your heart on today? Is it on the inside where God has told you he has everything prepared for you? Or is most of you on the outside, but you keep a little toe hold in just in case God shows up? My prayer for you today is that you will be so obedient to God. Not just your toes, but your whole body will be inside. And that you may experience the joy of an obedient heart and an obedient spirit. Amen.